The winner of the Polar Music Prize 2022 is Ensemble Intercontemporain. Classical music's strength is also its biggest weakness. The music that the masters so brilliantly wrote has a tendency to stand in the way for new composers. However, Paris-based Ensemble Intercontemporain is an exception. They're one of the biggest missionaries for contemporary music and have for decades taught and shared it with the whole world. The Ensemble Intercontemporain consists of 31 soloists. In that sense, we are not really a chamber orchestra, but it's an ensemble which makes us, in size, the biggest ensemble for contemporary music in the world and allows us to create a repertoire that is truly unique and really ours, like basically tailored to the size and the needs of the ensemble. The ensemble was founded in 1976 by the French composer Pierre Boulez. He was one of the dominant figures of post-war classical music, but since 2013, the German conductor and composer Matthias Pincher is the artistic director of the ensemble. And he remembers Pierre Boulez as both a mentor and a friend. He always found time for us, composers of the younger generation, to spend time with us, and he was never really teaching us, but sharing his ideas. So we're talking about spending an entire afternoon on a couch together, sitting next to each other with the scores on our laps and asking each other questions. It was Pierre Boulez who, nine years ago, handed me over the ensemble and held my hand and said, Matthias, um, just do everything different. Move on, move forward. These amazing musicians have such an open mindset and I find that really unique, and they have this incredibly high responsibility for each, uh, not only new work, for every work that we perform. It's, it's, it's a pleasure to you know, jump into this pool of bubbling creativity every time we, we get together and explore the works that we are performing. I always hope that we can understand that there is no such thing of educated listening or the privilege of listening. Music has always been new at its time. Don't even believe that someone would be, you know, whistling the tunes of Mozart's Don Giovanni in the streets of Prague once it was premiered. So every mu music has been new at a certain point. We should embrace the fact that with sound, with music, that we are also authorized to like something more or less. Every listener is equally qualified. The listener that knows nothing about a piece or music at all, or the person that has listened to a certain symphony 500 times. Music touches the soul. It's coming, it's coming from the very, very primordial roots of articulation, which is us expressing something with the system. So everyone speaks and can sing. It's so close because it's connected to the breath. And even if we play an instrument, you need to move the bow on your string instrument. You have to blow air through an instrument, whatever wind instrument is. Without the air, the music doesn't exist. So that make, makes it so, so intimate, so vulnerable, and so direct. Everyone understands what articulation is when you get closer to an instrument. If it is extraordinary, everyone feels the people who know everything and the people who know nothing. We all have the same sensation on stage, in the public. We know because we feel if something powerful is happening. And to be part of this motion of feeling sound and sound waves makes it so, so personal and so, so emotionally powerful. The Polar Music Prize 2022 is awarded to the Paris-based Ensemble Intercontemporain, founded by Pierre Boulez, with the support of Michael Guy, who was the Minister of Culture at that time, and Nicholas Snowman. Many masterpieces have been created by composers having one particularly brilliant musician or exceptional instrument in mind while composing. 
Ensemble Intercontemporain is the Stradivarius of modern music and has inspired the greatest composers of our time to create new masterpieces since the 1970s. Thanks to its openness to new technology and collaborating with other art forms, this groundbreaking ensemble has been enormously important for pushing progress. Ensemble Intercontemporain is made up of 31 soloists and has a repertoire that now includes over 3,000 modern pieces. Thanks to its focus on creativity, innovation, and high quality, as well as focusing on engaging with young musicians, the ensemble has helped to advance the entire world of music. I'm beyond excited to be coming to Stockholm in May to receive the Polar Prize in honor of the Ensemble Ante Contemporain. The weather's gonna be beautiful. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in Stockholm in May.